Giants, Cowboys. This number is kind of all over the place. It's a six at DraftKings. It's some fives. It's some five and a halves. Uh, that Dallas defense Sunday against against Baltimore, they uh, they had difficulty stopping the run. I don't exactly think the Giants uh, pose a threat here to to run the ball and impose the will uh, with the, the offensive line the way the Ravens did. Nor do they have a uh, as dynamic of a quarterback as Lamar Jackson. Feels like again the, the Cowboys are always seemingly a public side, but uh, I don't know if I want to lay six, but I might shop around and find one of those five and five and a half, Sammy. Great to be back on the NFL pod. I didn't realize it was a one-off. I was so excited I brought my South Park shirt. Hey, Kenny, that's a man, that's a man, 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 man. Uh, very awful, Cartman. But I can tell you this. Oh, well, we don't know if it's a one-off. It'll depend on the schedule. The rest of the I, I shouldn't have introduced it as a one-off because you are obviously you've you've got you're bigger and better now. You've got you've got more responsibilities and you're on uh, from from nine to twelve every day now. So we just our our, our taping schedule did not jive with your legitimate work schedule so by the way there was a two-point line move going from john murray to sammy we won't say which way it moved though <laughs> <laughs> that's fair where's my cheesy poops um cd lamb uh receiving yards i imagine he goes off in this game but i think as we have this conversation on a wednesday afternoon we have to understand that as i call them and will always loves this the marge simpsons of the world are probably going to bet the over day of the game correct so Probably. by the time we get to kickoff, what is the number on C.D. Lamb receiving yards? The floor right now is 79 and a half. There's an 80 and a half. There's an 81 and a half. There's a very good chance we get to kickoff by the time you finally figure out, oh, there's Amazon Prime on your 88, TV. 88 and a half. I was going to say at least 84, 85 and a half. So understand that if you're going to be betting star players, namely star receivers in this league, you have to bet these guys. If it's a Thursday game, you bet them on Tuesday night or Wednesday morning if they're available. Now, yeah, some it, just takes them a couple, it just takes a couple of bombs to lamb. To, uh, it doesn't, to what it doesn't take of much bombs. of an effort. It doesn't take much of an effort. I mean, so many people bet Justin Jefferson overs on Sunday 30 minutes before kick, and then they'll tell you, oh, I, I got hosed. Well, actually, you went over oh. 89 and a half, and it was 84 and a half on Saturday, and it landed 87. So I like the Lamb look. He could clear all the numbers. Giant secondary is atrocious, guys. And Dallas needs a big one here. Dallas needs to put one on the Giants. I don't I don't want to bet the side. Lean to the Cowboys. Don't love it. But, Will, I think Lamb is going to go for a bill. I think he's got 100 yards in him on Thursday. A lot, a lot of times before you get, get in, Will, a lot of times check, the, uh, check your DK app because uh, I, I've been noticing this year they do – Put the uh, the any the, the the touchdown anytime touchdown promo in there where you get a yes. nice little boost. So uh, you could probably get uh, CD Lamb with some uh, with your fifty percent boost on a, an anytime touchdown score for that Thursday game. You could probably get CD Lamb at plus money to score a touchdown with that boost. So uh, make sure you check your DK app and uh, and punch that in. I'm quite sure I will before I head down to beautiful downtown Orlando for big noon on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, that was uh no, you're right. They, they, a lot of good promos, odd subject to change, of course. Uh, so keep that in mind with uh with all of these promos. I look, this is not a league where you want to lay points on the road. I, I'm gonna lay points on the road. I just think uh, Dallas, they for all of their flaws, they're still better than the Giants, and they have a habit of you know beating up on these teams that they're yep. supposed to beat one and two. They need the game, like Sammy said. And Giants had some success last week, but that was blitzing a Cleveland offensive line that was decimated. Cleveland couldn't run the ball. And if you look at Dak, I mean, his splits versus the blitz versus uh, you know, non blitz, he really does well when you pressure him, when, when you put the blitz on him. I just think Dallas, maybe a team total is a better way to play if you don't want to lay the points here. But I think Dallas gets into the 30s here. I don't think the Giants keep up. I think Dallas needs it. And I think Dallas gets it. So I'm Okay, lay in the six. I mean, it was if we were recording it this time yesterday, it was like four, four and a half. Though that was clearly too short. Five, five and a half. Those are sort of some dead numbers. Of course, you want every half point you can get, whether it's a key number or not. But I do think Dallas wins this game by you know touchdown plus. And look, Dallas has killed the Giants. I mean, they went, went there last year opening night. Remember that opening Sunday and won like forty one nothing, forty two nothing. So to me, it's look, it's not going to be forty two nothing. But Dallas winning the game by you know seven points, double digits. I think is certainly within the realm of possibility. So I like Dallas here. 
this would be the game, right, that, D- that Dallas gets right? Even though, guys, I thought last week was. I- I- I'm kind of surprised. Like, they got bullied by the Saints, and I thought, you know, they're pros. They're prideful. They're going to come out a little bit early in-, in the Ravens game and show some pride, and they didn't. Got run over again. But the Giants can't do that, right? The Giants can't run them over. Uh, I like Sammy's prop, too. Uh, I also like uh, like uh, Dowdell to get uh, over 38 and a half rushing yards. Uh, I think Dallas tries to run the ball well in this game, sort of command the line of scrimmage again. Uh, but I'm with Will on this one. I think it's Dallas or, or pass in this game. I think Dallas uh, will get right here. They're better than the Giants, and they, they beat bad teams. They've done this for years now. They've dominated bad teams. The second they play a good team, they lose those games. So we had a, a, a blowout New York win against a dog opponent on last Thursday, and we'll see if we get another uh, blowout win in a team involving, or blowout game, I should say, in another game involving a New York team on that field uh, on, on a Thursday night. Will, what's up with your Vikings, oh, bud? Man. <laughs> They're not going to rope me into getting hope, are they? I'm, I'm actually starting to, uh, starting to believe a little bit. Now, at some point, Sam Darnold is going to look – like Sam Darnold, but uh, and look, you've, you've heard it everywhere. This coaching staff is as good as anywhere in the league, really, with Flores, what he's done with this defense. Two years ago, they're the worst defense in the league. Last year, right around average. Now they're just, it's not just like they're they are winning. They're killing people in a league where every game is close. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.